Well, when I started in this business, I went going to medical school in 1982 through 86. I mean, I was still going into hospital rooms with full, you know, garb on, head to toe with masks and gowns and uh, all kinds of crazy stuff like we did back then. But um, and and back then the the, the Treatments were pretty limited. It wasn't the, the, the greatest situation to be in, having um, to tell a person that they were diagnosed with this, this new disease um, that we were just learning about and not really being able to do much about it. Um, it's, it's come a long way since that time. Once um, I joined Hudson River Healthcare uh, about 10 years ago, um, by that point in time, it was nice to be able to manage this infection as if it was, to me, just another chronic disease, like I was taking care of my hypertensive patients or my diabetic patients. And as a family doc, that's, that's how I've come to, to, to see um, this illness now, is, is just an, another um, disease that, that I have good treatments for treatments that are not as burdensome as they were 20 years ago and um, I can look a patient in the face and say you know I can you know tell you now just getting this diagnosis that your life expectancy is probably going to be the same as mine or anybody else in, in this office as far as um, HIV impacting on that, that, Ill, that, that life expectancy. So that's a nice change. The medication and treatment is is almost an easy part of HIV care now. It's it's um, some of the peripheral things that um, get in the way of people taking good care of themselves that sometimes become my challenges. A lot of a lot of people with substance abuse problems or mental health issues. Um, those people are sometimes hard to engage in care and that's where the team really comes into to play as far as helping the, the HIV providers to, to, to take care of those patients. So I mean if anybody is watching this and they are, those things are resonating with them, those, those, are, those are the people we want to try to get into care because those are, those, are, those are still our challenging type of patients and I would encourage those people to, to try to engage into care and, and um, work with your providers to, to, to not only address your, your HIV, but then those other conditions that uh, can negatively impact on, on optimum uh, medical care. So that's, that's probably one of my biggest challenges.